Hey guys, hope you're having a great Saturday, even though every day kind of feels like a Saturday at this point. Uh, but I just wanted to share something with you that encouraged me, and I hope that it encourages you too. And it's found in Genesis, and it's the story of Noah and the ark. And in chapter 6, we see something um, that stood out to me, and it refers to Noah as a righteous man, that he was blameless among the people at this time. Um, this is telling us that Noah, that he wasn't influenced by what surrounded him. He wasn't influenced by what everybody else was doing. And because of that, God showed him favor. And we all know how the story goes that, that Noah builds an ark and the, the rain comes and he has all the animals on board. Um, and it's only him and his family that survive. But what stood out to me was in chapter eight and verse one, it says this, it says, but God remembered Noah. We know that Noah, he listened and he obeyed to what God was speaking to him, even though it went against everything else, even though it went against what everyone else was doing, even though it seemed like it was this crazy thing that he was doing, he listened and he obeyed. And we see that after he did what God told him to do, after he built the ark, after he got all the animals, they put him and his family on board, even though everyone else was saying he was crazy, after he obeyed, it says, then he didn't hear from God for 150 days. And if that's me in that moment, 150 days, like if I'm listening to God and I see his promise uh, and I see what he tells me to do and I'm doing what he told me to do and 150 day go, days go by and I didn't hear from God at any point during that, I'm questioning like, God, did I really do what you told me to do? Was that something uh, that you actually spoke to me or was that something that I spoke to myself that I was just thinking? Now I, I begin to question, am I doing what God has called me to do? But it tells us that that after all of it, that God remembered Noah. And in chapter nine, it tells us that then he blessed Noah and his family. And maybe you're in this place right now in your walk with God. You listened and you obeyed and you know God said, hey, I've got, a, I've got a promise for you. I've got a blessing for you at the end of this. And you're following along and you feel like, man, where is God right now? Like I'm doing what he told me to do. I'm following what he told me to, to do, what he told me to say. I, I'm reaching out to these people, but it seems like God is nowhere. It seems like I'm in this dry season in my faith. And the temptation is to say, uh, maybe I do something else so that I can hear from God. But hear me today. As you are faithful to God, you'll see that God is going to be faithful back to you. And he's got promises for you. And although it seems like God is nowhere to be found at times, trust me that, that God is, is there and he's walking there with you. And he's got a blessing for you on the other side of your faithfulness. I hope that that encourages you today, that, that even though it feels like God might not be there with you right now, that he has a plan for you, that he has a blessing for you. And as you are faithful, he'll be faithful back. Jesus, I thank you for every person listening today, every person tuning in. God, I pray that, that you would just show yourself faithful today. I pray that as you speak to us, that we would step out in obedience and we would follow what you speak to us and that we wouldn't deter off of the path that you've called us to do, but we would stay on the path and that we would see the blessing that comes at the end of it. God, I pray that you just pour out blessings on your people, that you protect them, that you would keep them safe and healthy during this time. We love you and we thank you. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great day.